so what should we do? What do you mean, what should we do? Are we ever going to find my real parents? I mean, we could try, but who knows what's going to happen. Who knows if they're dead or not. Well, I still want to try. Come on, Dad. Let's set off and find her real parents. Whoa, well, where are we going to go? <sighs> Fine. What way? I think we should go that way. Well, then lead the way. Now, what are the odds we actually find a tiger? I don't know, Dad, but it can't hurt to try. And what are we going to do? We're just going to walk into a big tiger pride? Okay, Dad. Now I have a feeling that you don't want me to see my parents. Like, you don't want me... To be happy. Well? Is that true? It's not true that I don't want you to be happy. But it is true that I don't want to find your real parents. And why not? Because... I'm afraid. You're afraid of tigers? No. I'm afraid of losing you. You're like one of my real daughters. I do have a real biological daughter and son, but you feel like one of them. And I love you. And who knows what your real parents would be like. They could be abusers. Who knows? Well, if you love me, you'd let me go. So are you coming or not? Yes, but you'll promise you won't go with them. I won't guarantee it. They're my real family. I don't just want to let them go. I don't want to let her go. I'm afraid. I'm afraid for her. Hey, don't leave me behind. It smells like tigers. A lot of them. Do you think it's too risky? Yeah, I don't want my family getting hurt. That is why I will continue without you. What? No. I don't mean leave forever. I mean go to them without you. No way. We're all sticking together. You could get killed. So could you. I'm not gonna let you go on your own. I'm coming with you. Well, Dad, I don't want you getting hurt either. We all could get killed just because of me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. They can go home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not leaving you. And I'm not leaving you. And I'm not leaving you. Fine, well, I'll just go and... Hey! What are you losers doing in our territory? Yeah, we have a right to know. Okay, okay. Um, look... I'm the leader of this pride, and we need to speak with your pride. A pride? What kind of pride are you with two cheetahs, two panthers, and a tiger I've never seen before? <laughs> Look, buddy, this is my family. And we need a word with your king or queen or whatever you have. 
and the word is that that white tiger over there, we found her as a cub, and we're searching for her parents. She's a teenager now, but we're still looking, okay? You can just take me in. You don't have to take all of us in. And if you're so sure about it that your pride will not have a white tiger, then we'll all leave right now. But I won't. I want to talk to every tiger here. My destiny is to find my parents. We'll see about that, Whitey. Come on, bring them in. Mother, father, there is a pride that would like to speak to you. Don't worry, they're a small pride. Take them over. Get them over here. Now what do we have here? This is what you call a pride? No. We call it family. What do you want? It better be something good. You see, there is a white tiger. We found her. I found her as a little cub when I was hunting. A big tiger ran with her in its mouth, and then he dropped her. I thought he was coming to take my kill, but he wasn't. He just left her. It looked like he was about to kill her, but he didn't. Now, this was about two years ago, and she wants to find her real parents just to meet them, to see what really happened. Do you know anything about someone's cub being lost? Happened to be a white tiger that was carried by a male, very large Bengal tiger? Brother. You said you killed her. I couldn't do it, sir. I'm sorry. I, I was sure of it that she would die. By something, she stands right out. Come here. Now everyone else back up because I want to speak to her. So you wanted to get rid of me, just like trash. No. I am your real mother. The reason why we didn't want you was because our pride was very, very weak. There was only three members, and then I gave birth to four offspring. You, the other one protecting us, and those two over there. They are your brothers. The reason why we got rid of you was because you were right, a white tiger. That's why? Because I was a white tiger? Listen, our pride was very weak. And you stuck out, you stuck out like a zebra in the dry season. Now, your brothers, if they played with you, predators would easily spot you. And you could cause fate to the whole pride. If there were predators, such as wolves, walking, prowling around them, if they would have saw you, 
this would have saw the three other cubs and killed all of them. If there were a couple male tigers that saw you four cubs, they would have killed you and tried to kill my mate and my brother-in-law to try to get to me. Now you see, if you were a normal colored tiger, we wouldn't we wouldn't have cared. But like I said, you stuck out like a zebra in the dry season. No camouflage whatsoever. You belong in the Arctic, not in the savannah. Well, well, since your pride is bigger, would you ever consider about taking me? What are you saying? That you want to go with the ones that left you to die instead of the ones that raised you? Father, or should I even call you father? I love you, but I'm meant to be with the tigers. Now if that mushy story is true, would you ever consider about taking a white tiger back into your pride? Such as your daughter. That you never got to meet. Well, you see, what makes you worthy about being in our pride? I, I am your daughter. I'm very strong. <laughs> you, strong? How could you be strong if you were core? Injured zebra in the dry season of a savanna. You stick out like a sore thumb. Look at us. And then look back at you. We are orange tigers. You are a white tiger. We are very strong, big tigers. You are a very weak, small tiger. That is as big as you'll ever get. And you won't dream to be any bigger. I could prove you wrong right now. <laughs> you will never love anyone. And no one will ever love you. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure of that. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no, get out of here. <laughs> and never show your face again. <laughs> Why the hell did you do that? She will never be a tiger, and she will never live amongst any tigers her whole entire life. Honey, let us go. Not a single move, Blackie, or she gets it. <laughs> and she gets it, too. If you're gonna kill anyone, just kill me and let everyone else go. No, do not kill anyone. Let them go. Yes, mother. <laughs> you cheetahs and panthers better leave. Go find your real daughter. <laughs> They're 
right. I'm not a tiger. I'm a genetic deformity. And now I don't have an eye. Now I only have a right eye. Hey, she came over here. You guys are so fast. Well, we're cheetahs. Come on. I'm so sorry. It's all right. What happened to you? Where's your family? I don't have any family. Yes, you do. What am I thinking? My whole family is right here. All alone. What happened to you? What happened to you? That is your blood from when you ran into me. I'm sorry. Wait. You're a white tiger. I always thought I was the only one. I thought I was the only one. No one liked me, so I left my pride. My real parents abandoned me when I was little. I mean, my biological parents. These are my real parents. Come back with us. We'll get you both cleaned up. Dad, I'm sorry. You were right. They're horrible. I should have never considered about finding my parents ever again. It's alright. Let's just go back home.